Things seem kind of peaceful in the late bloomer garden and the cozy corner this Thursday morning, but it's going to get interesting in about 30 minutes. It all started on Monday when Renee made a discovery. <laughs> Renee made a discovery. It's like the biggest news that's happened in my garden. Tell them what you found. Honeybees. Yeah. Honeybees are nesting under my garden shed. Yes. On the underneath. So <laughs> it's no. going to be a problem. No, no, because they are uh, away from the people and they don't disturb anybody. Now, you know how much I love bees and I love bees pollinating my garden. And so much is still blooming and even more coming on. But I reached out to Jill Green, whose husband keeps bees in Phoenix, and she said you have to act fast. And the reason is the queen lays over 2,000 eggs a day, <laughs> and they hatch in 21 days, and Renee missed a week over here, so they could have been doing this for at least 14 days, maybe longer. You can't even see anything from my side of the garden. You can only notice it from Zachary's uh, yard. My name is Eugene and I run a company called Queen Bee Removal. We do a live bee removal from, in this case, underneath the shed and we relocate the bees and save them without chemicals. Bees, especially at this time, after the rains, all the flowers are blooming so they're splitting up, they're looking for new locations and they just found a new home underneath the shed. So what are we going to have to do to get that out? Because they're not in the bench. They're not in the bench. They're underneath the bench. So we would need to remove the bench and lift the floorboards because they're attaching to the bottom of that. Okay. And then how do we control the bees while you do that? Uh, we're going to use smoke to calm them down. Tell me the process. Are you just removing the queen? We're removing the bees, the queen, and the honeycomb that they have built. We're going to clean out the entire area as well. How do the bees stay with you while you do that process is what I'm wondering. They stay with the queen. Ah. So that's their home okay. from now on. Okay. And they're not going anywhere until you physically remove them. The queen. Okay. Right. Even though they're flying in and out. They're flying in and out to collect pollen and food. Or right. Right. Bringing stuff back into the home. And when they sense something's going on, will they all come to the hive? Depends on how aggressive they are. Ah. Okay. All right. So we need to get started. And you're going to tear my shed apart. <laughs> yes, Serge. Hi, Serge. Where are you from? I am from <laughs> Ukraine, but... Are you really? Yeah. yeah. I was born there. Yeah. Came here when I was like four years old. Wow. You need to cut it like this. Okay. That's fine. He is about to cut a hole in the floor because the bees are making a hive underneath there. And it's interesting because there's already a cut piece there. He thinks there might have been an, an existing hive. I smell smoke. He said he's starting. Very smoky. It's good at smoking them out as well. Open the two windows right there while you're cutting. Yeah, these. You got two windows there. Three maybe. Three. Open them all up. <laughs> You 
just want to solve the problem with bees right away because it just gets worse and worse and worse. They grow and expand. They occupy more space. There's more honey. Yo, a lot more problems. It's, it's, it's so hard to see the screws because it's so deep. Yeah, they drilled them all the way in. Yeah. It's the only problem. All right, well, I'm trying to lift it. I can't see any more. I'm going to lift it and then I'll see where there's more. What's in that smoke anyway? It's burlap. It's what? Burlap. Burlap? Burning? Oh. Oh my god, you're kidding, that happened underneath? Okay, but I can't. Back, back, no. Back, come on. I gotta, we gotta do this quick, dude. Yeah. <laughs> Are you actually vacuuming the bees? He found an old piece of comb in there, so obviously there was a, an old hive, and that's why they found it and created a new one. This is a piece of the current comb hive, and that is nectar, which the bees had not had a chance to convert to honey. Even though we leave the vacuum on, when we take a break and give them time to collect, uh, they'll go straight for the vacuum because they're curious. It smells like honey. Even so though it's it, noisy. It'll, yeah, it'll still suck up some of them. Okay. So it's better than just leaving it off. Did you find the queen? Yeah, yeah. And you saw the queen? Yep. And the queen went into the vacuum? Yep, I got the queen. Okay. I got the queen, captured her. And so they all go in that one thing. Yeah, it's, it's like, um, it's basically a bucket um, with mesh on it that we collect them into. Oh, I see. And then the top of it comes off, so it's breathable for them. Oh, I and see. And they survive when we tran transport them to the Animal Valley. So do you hang on to them for a while? We'll put before them in you... the hive boxes. Uh-huh. Make sure they take, which they usually do. We give them sugar water. Oh, we I see. We like to give them pieces of their own comb. Oh, I see. The brood. So that's why you scraped it off and yeah, put it in? Yeah, that's why I took them off, exactly. Ah. And then we put the brood back on with some honey on it, and then you, they pretty much will take to it right And away. what is the brood? The brood is uh, the part of the honeycomb where they lay eggs in. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. And you got that off? Yeah. Okay, cool. Well, there's still some honeycomb in there. Oh. Uh, we're gonna, I'm gonna pull it out. I'm giving them uh, time for more of them to land on the honeycomb right now. And oh, okay. I'm pull more of it out. Okay. Yeah, there was an old hive. And if you don't properly remove any of the, if the whole hive properly, any little piece will carry that smell. Any bees that are swarming and looking for a new house, they could smell it within miles. Wow. So it'll just straight attract them there. Oh. That's where the problem is. When people kill them, it's mm -hmm. not a solution. It's a temporary fix for maybe a couple of weeks. But you leave, you, unless you take out all the honeycomb, it will, it will not solve the problem. You have to physically pull out the honeycomb, clean everything. And the wood, the top wood, you're going to replace because um, it carries a smell when they attached it. Ah, oh, so yeah. I need new wood. Yeah, yeah, you would ah. could definitely, I would recommend putting new wood on the bottom of it. And so you probably collect a lot of bees from several jobs before you make a trip up to Antelope Valley. It just depends, because if it's taking, if it's one person is doing a job and it's taking them eight hours, I'm not gonna wait eight hours. I, I'd rather get the bees up there. Oh, I see. So we could relocate them. I don't know about you, but I'm exhausted. Did any, Bees start, well, there's, actually, I, sh I guess I should get back. Yeah, definitely, 100%, because you're going to get stung. Okay, I don't want to get stung. took the queen, so they're not too happy right now. Oh, okay. Uh, so the bees are going to be gathering on the outside right here uh -huh. for the next couple of days, and they should be gone after that. Okay. Ooh, are they getting, yeah. I, I should probably. 
just walk away slowly, you'll be fine. Oh, okay. They're just around this area, they're active because they can't get in right now. Right, right, exactly. So the bees, they fly a radius of three to five miles to pollinate, to collect pollen, nectar, water, and then they bring it back into a hive and they store it inside. So they grow it really fast. And you said mine, my hive was pretty... Yeah, you almost had a box, almost the entire box. There was 10 pieces of honeycomb. So they don't really need a box. They can, they make their own structure. They need an enclosed space. And you'll have these relocated how soon? They're going to go out today. Oh, wow. Yeah, someone's going to pick them up. Oh, wow. Them. Oh, well, thank you. Great job. <laughs> Thanks so much for watching. Please like the video and share with your friends. And subscribe to my website for a free ebook, 10 Steps to a Great First Garden. Thanks for your support, and I'll see you in the next video. And if you enjoyed this video, why not try these?